We're going to get started in about one minute. I expect we use this time to gather any supplies we feel we may need today. Maybe we can dull your lights, light a candle if that feels good for us. Okay, so finding our bodies in a comfortable seated pose. I am sitting in a half lotus. May you find any easy seat that feels good for you. Allowing our bodies to relax and center here today as we ensure that our spinal cord is nice and long, meaning we're not sunken. We have control of our bodies. Our tummies are nice and tight. Our shoulders are melted downward away from our ears. As we gaze our eyes down or close our eyes, taking a nice deep breath in. Exhale. Breathe in. Exhale. Taking a moment to notice how the breath feels within the body. As we breathe our palms at heart center, coming into a seated prayer. Allowing our thumbs to touch our sternum, if that feels good for us. As we take natural breaths. Breathe in. Exhale. Placing our palms flat on the earth beside our bodies, using our palms to check in with our environment. We are connected to the earth as our buttocks, our root chakra, is grounded and settled. Our spinal cord is nice and long. As we are gazed down, we are rooted. We are centered. We are connected. As we take a moment to go in, grounding and soothing. Breathe in. Exhale. As we allow our palms to breathe above our heads, coming into our seated salute, our palms are reaching up towards the heavens. Spinal cord is nice and long. Two breaths. Taking in a nice deep breath. Exhale, see the twist right side, softly gazing over that right shoulder, feeling that spinal twist. Two more breaths. Exhaling back to center, coming into that seated star. Palms are off towards the side. As we breathe our palms above our heads in our salute, breathe in. Exhale, see the twist opposite side, gazing over that left shoulder, allowing the body to relax. Three breaths. Two more breaths. Exhaling back to center, coming to that seated star as we flow to that salute. Exhale to prayer, bringing our palms and heart center, relaxing our shoulders downward away from our ears as we gaze our eyes down. Two breaths. We're going to work on our sacral chakra here. We get a slight lean forward. Relaxing our palms on our laps or the floor, the earth, whatever feels good for you. And we're going to do a couple of circular rotations here. Ensuring that our tummies are nice and tight. We're going to rotate our bodies in a circular rotation, working on that sacral here. Maybe we can gaze our eyes down or close our eyes. As we go inward and focus on our root chakra and now our sacral chakra. Noticing how it feels in our bodies as we are moving and rotating. Three more breaths. Two more breaths. 
as we find our pause at center, we're going to rotate our bodies in the opposite direction. Gazing our eyes down or closing our eyes as the down gaze allows us to go inward and focus on our chakras here. Moving the body nice and slow here. We want to feel the movements. Three more breaths. As we find our pose at center, coming back into a seated pose, as we breathe our palms at heart center, we are in our seated prayer. Shoulders melted downward away from our ears. As we take a moment to go inward, noticing how we feel within our bodies at this present moment. Four breaths, silent meditation. As we exhale our palms downward towards the earth, our palms are connected to our yoga mat. And we're gonna work on a C-spine. We're gonna focus on our solar plexus, which is up here by our tummies. We're gonna slightly lean our bodies towards the right. Tummies are nice and tight. As we lift that left arm over our head, maybe gazing our eyes down as our head melts towards our shoulder. And if we choose, we can allow our Shoulder to melt downward closer towards the earth, coming deeper into that C-spine. Taking a moment to notice our root chakra, our sacral chakra, and now our solar plexus. As we slightly gaze up at the heavens, opening up our heart chakra, with our eyes gaze down to close. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhale into center. Both palms are on the earth. As we take a nice deep breath in. Exhale. We're going to work on it. So the plexus chakra by leaning our bodies towards the left. As we allow that right arm to reach over our head. Head melts downward towards the shoulder. And if we choose, shoulder could come closer towards the earth, coming deeper into that C-spine. Focusing on our shoulder plexus here. Noticing how it feels. Tummies are nice and tight. As we slightly gaze up at the heavens, taking natural breaths. Going inward. Three more breaths. Two more breaths. Exhaling back to center. Palms are relaxed on the earth. As we breathe in. Exhale. Breathing our palms above our head in our salute. Chin slightly up. Exhale into our prayer. Allowing our thumbs to touch our sternum as we go inwards. Focusing on our root, our sacral, and our solar plexus chakras. Noticing how we feel at this very moment. Being aware of what is going on within. Without judgment. Simply noticing. Three breaths of sound. Exhaling our palms flat on our legs. Tummy's nice and tight. Spinal cord is nice and long. Our chakras open, chin slightly up. We're going to continue to work on our solar plexus here, here in our tummy area, our abdominal area. And if we choose, we can do a couple breaths of fires or we can just take nice deep and taking a breath. Breath of fires are not for pregnant people, so if you're pregnant, we're not going to do the breath of fire. We're just going to take natural or deep breaths here. We're just going to focus on the breath, trying to breathe from our tummy areas here, noticing how that feels when we fill our tummies up with air. Focusing on the solar plexus. 
Exhale. Maybe keeping our eyes gaze down to close. Three more breaths. Finding our pause, gazing down. As we flow our bodies onto our hands and our knees, coming into a tabletop only for a second. As we're gonna flow onto our tummies and we're gonna work on a cobra here. We're gonna bring our bodies down. Cushion our torso slightly up. We're gonna be in our, let's start in a baby cobra. Our elbows are slightly bent, we are in our baby cobra. Noticing how this feels in our bodies. As we flow up to that cobra, we are opening up that solar plexus here. Eyes are gazed down. Exhaling down to our baby cobra. Flowing down to our sphinx pose, coming on to our forearms. Melting our shoulder blades downward away from our ears as we gaze our eyes closed. As we gaze our eyes down. Two more breaths. As we flow to that baby cobra, notice that when we flow to the baby cobra, coming from our sphinx to our cobra, we put pressure right on our solar plexus, right on the tops of our tongue. Taking a moment to notice how this feels as we come to that baby cobra. We're gonna flow to our cobra, straightening out those elbows. As we push our bodies up to our down dog, we're gonna work on our heart chakra here. Before we flow to that, maybe we can take a moment to stretch, pedal on our feet, walking our dog, gazing backwards, noticing how this feels in the body. Three breaths. We're gonna find our pause. We're gonna push our torso towards our thighs, feeling that nice deep stretch. Exhale into up dog. Heart chakra's open. Exhale, back down, dog. We're gonna flow into a three-legged dog, lifting that right leg up in the air, nice and high, as we breathe that right foot to that right hand, coming into that runner's lunge. Just for a second, hanging out here, noticing how this feels. We're gonna bring this right hand inside of our thigh, yes. And we're gonna twist our bodies up, coming into a side twist, lifting that left arm up in the air. Our heart chakra's open. We are gazing up at our hand or gazing for whatever feels best for you. If we are gazing up at the heavens, maybe we can close our eyes down. Two more breaths. Exhale into center. Both palms are flat on the earth as we revolve twist. We're gonna lift that right arm up in the air. We're gonna gaze up at that right arm, noticing how that heart chakra opens up as we lift that arm up in the air. Gazing up at that hand, <sighs> taking a nice deep breath in, feeling the heart open, feeling the body flow here. Build the strength, three more breaths. Exhale back down, both palms are flat on the earth as we breathe to our down dog. We're gonna pedal our feet, walking our dog. And we're gonna keep on moving here, building strength. Three-legged dog, left side, bringing that left leg in the air. As we breathe that left foot to that left hand, we are in our runner's lunge. Just for a second, taking a moment to notice how this feels. As we bring that left hand inside of that leg, we're gonna twist our bodies towards the right, allowing that right arm to come up in the air, opening up their heart chakra. Gazing up at our hand, if that feels good, noticing how that feels within our heart. Arms in the air, gazing up at the hand. If we have neck issues, we're just gonna gaze forward. Whatever feels good for us. Three more breaths. Exhaling out, both palms are on the earth. As we revolve, twist our bodies. Left arm goes up in the air. Gaze in our hands, gaze in our eyes up at the heavens. As we take a nice deep breath in. 
exhale. With our eyes closed, taking a moment to notice our heart chakra. Two more breaths. Exhaling back to center, both palms are flat on the earth as we breathe to our damn dog. <sighs> Walking our dog, as we find our pause, we're gonna drop to our knees. We're gonna come on down to a child's pose or puppy pose, giving our bodies a moment's rest. Two breaths. With our palms flat on the earth, we're gonna spine and wave our bodies out of this position. Using our palms to push our torsos forward, using our palms to push our buttocks towards our feet. We are spine and waving it here. Two more breaths. As we find our pause, we are on our hands and our knees. We're gonna push our bodies back up to our down dog. We're gonna walk our dog by pedaling our feet. Finding our pause as we flow into a high plank. Build the strength here in the upper part of our bodies. Gazing forward. Two more breaths. We can come down to a low plank if that feels good for us. As we exhale down to a low plank or a chaturanga, bringing our heart chakra closer towards the earth. Two breaths. Flowing down to our stank pose. We are on our forearms. Shoulders are melted away from the ears. This is a slight back bend. Three breaths. Noticing how in this face pose, we are also working our heart chakra. With the heart chakra open and our chin lightly up. Maybe we can hang out here for a little bit longer as we focus on the chakras that we worked so far. We started with the root chakra, the grounding chakra. We went to our sacral, up to our solar plexus. And now we are at our heart chakra. As we take a nice deep breath in, exhale. Two more breaths. Flowing down to our baby cobra, bend the nose, Elbows pushing our torso slightly away from the earth. Chin slightly up as we flow to our cobra, straightening those elbows. Noticing how our heart chakra is coming higher and higher here. As we flow to that up dog, now our heart chakra is nice and high. Our heart chakra is open. Chin is slightly up as we are building strength. Three breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale, down dog. As we flow to a three-legged dog, right side, bringing that right leg in the air. We're gonna bend that right foot to that left buttocks, opening up that, opening up that hip here. We're not gonna flow over to wild thing just yet. Just hanging out here as we flow back to that three-legged dog, straightening out that leg. Gazing back at our foot. Exhale, down dog. As we flow to three-legged opposite sides, left leg comes in the air nice and high. Gazing back at that foot. As we bend that left foot towards that right buttocks, opening up that hip. Two breaths. Flowing back to three-legged, breathing back to down dog. As we breathe to up dog, chin slightly up, opening up that throat chakra, noticing how it feels when we lift the neck up. We are speaking clearly. We say what we feel. Always. Exhale and back down, dog. Now we're gonna flow to our high plank. We're just gonna hang out here three breaths. Gazing downward. Two more breaths. Dropping down to our knees. We're going to work on our third eye chakra. We're going to flow down to a child's pose, allowing our forehead to relax on the earth. 
gazing our eyes down or closing our eyes, we are focused on our third eye chakra, foreheads on the yoga mat. Forehead is connected to the earth. As we take a nice deep breath in, exhale. Breathe in. Exhale. We are going to take some time and go inward here. Maybe we can come in our child's pose into a prayer hands. If we are in our extended child's pose, we'll simply bring our palms together and bring them above our head. And our forehead is still melted with the ears as we are planted and rooted. We are awakening and relaxed, soothed. We are focusing on self care, positivity, strength. Abundance, happiness. But we are seeing more clearly now. We are awakening. Six natural breaths of silence as we go inward. Three more breaths. And we're gonna slightly gaze up here in our child's pose. And we're gonna use our palms to push our torsos forward just a little. We're gonna bring our knees and we're, we're gonna come into a puppy pose. So our knees are together. And we're gonna bring our heart chakra downward towards the earth. We're gonna bring our palms in front of us. As our forehead melts downward on the earth, our buttocks is high in the air. We are in our puppy pose. Noticing how this feels in a number of the lower parts of our backs as well. Taking natural breaths as we focus the three breaths of silence. Two more breaths. From our puppy pose, we're going to take a moment to go into our crown chakra. We're going to stay in our puppy pose with our knees together, but instead we're just going to come slightly higher and we're going to flow into a hard pose by coming. We're going to come up. Let's come up to a um, tabletop position just for a second, but our knees are together. We're not going to bring them hip distance apart in our table. Keeping our knees together, we are in our hard pose. We're going to bring our torso downward towards the earth, but now we're going to Gaze back at our feet. We're going to wind up on the tops of our heads. And once we are relaxed on the tops of our heads, we're going to walk our knees closer towards our hands, which are flat on the earth. If anyone chooses, we can actually Use our feet to push our buttocks up in the air and come deeper into this hard pose. Mm-hmm. 
taking in a nice deep breath. Exhale. As we come down on our knees, we're gonna cross our feet at our ankles, finding our bodies in a seated position. We're gonna find our bodies in any easy seat that feels good for us. As we take a nice deep breath in. Exhale. Spinal cord is nice and long. Shoulders melted away from the ears. Tummy's nice and tight. As we breathe our palms at heart center, relaxing our thumbs on our sternum, gazing down at the earth. Two breaths. Keeping our hands in our prayer position. We're going to place our hands in prayer position on top of our head. We are making our crown here. Body straight. We have control of that body. Tummy's tight. Shoulders are relaxed as much as they can. We are in our crown position. Maybe our palms are touching our head or maybe our palms are slightly above our head. Whatever feels best for you. As we gaze down. As we take a nice deep breath in. Exhale. Breathe in deeply. Exhale fully. As we hang out here in our silent meditation, five natural breaths. Three breaths. Two breaths. Breathe in. Exhale, see the prayer. Bring our palms above our heads to our salute. Exhale the prayer. Breathing back to salute. Bill in the flow here. Palms above the head. Salute. Chin slightly up. Exhale prayer. Flowing onto our hands and our knees. We're going to come to a tabletop pose. Knees are hip distance apart. As we take our right arm, bring it up towards the heavens, opening up their heart chakra as we gaze up at our hand. Breathe in. Thread the needle right side, right arm, thread through the left. Heart chakra comes down towards the earth, eyes are closed to gaze down. If we choose, we can take this left arm and wrap it around our backs. Or we can extend that left arm above our head, palms placed down, palms placed down with on ears. We're gonna hang out here and not thread the needle or natural breaths. Two more breaths. Mm. As we unwrap that arm, we're going to unthread that needle, finding our bodies back in our table. As we bring that left arm up towards the heavens, opening up that heart chakra, gazing up at those fingertips, feeling that heart chakra open as we breathe in. Exhale, thread the needle, left arm threads through the right, heart chakra comes downward towards the earth, eyes are gazed down. We can wrap this right arm around our backs if we choose. We'll place that right arm above our heads, palms flat on the earth. Four more breaths. Two more breaths. As we slowly unwrap that arm, we're going to unthread that needle, 
binding our bodies back in our table as we push our bodies up to our down dog. Flow into our high plank as we breathe to our up dog. Thighs are off the earth here in our up dog. Front chakras open, chin slightly up. This is a nice deep back bend. Exhaling down to our cobra, we are on our thighs now. Noticing the difference between an up dog, we are off our thighs. In our cobra, we are on our thighs. Elbows are nice and straight. As we flow down to our baby cobra, we're gonna bend those elbows. Body comes closer towards the earth, baby cobra. This is a slight back bend. As we are slightly gaze forward, as we flow down to our Sphinx pose, we're going to come on to our forearms. Chin slightly up. This is a back bend as well. As we take a nice deep breath in. Exhale down. We're coming into a sneak pose just for a second. We're going to bring those palms, those hands in front of us. And we're going to relax our forehead, our third eye chakra, onto our palms of our hands. Allowing our shoulder blades to melt forward as we take a nice deep breath, exhale. We're gonna hang out here, two more breaths. Slowly awakening from that sleep pose, we're gonna work on a superman or a supergirl. We're gonna bring our palms forward. We're gonna take our feet, our legs off the earth. This pose is not good for pregnant people. And we're gonna we're gonna fly our bodies from side to side if you choose here in our super, super girl. Or we can just hang out here and still. This is a back bend. We are gaze forward. Three breaths. Taking a moment to notice how any Superman, Supergirl, we are on our solar plexus here. Feeling the pressure here. As we swim my hands towards the back, coming into a locust pose. Palms are up facing the ceiling. We're gonna keep our feet and our legs off the earth. This is a back bend. Chin is slightly up. Noticing how that heart chakra here is slightly open. Three breaths. Exhaling down, staying in that position, allowing our third eye chakra, our forehead to relax on the earth. Shoulder blades melt forward. Taking in a nice deep breath. Exhale. Coming out of that sleep pose, we are back in our locust pose here. Yes. Arms, palms are up towards the heavens. Feet us off the earth. You may feel this in your gluteus maximus as well as the lower parts of your back. We're gonna hang out here for two more breaths. And if we choose, we can come into a half bow pose. Taking that right hand towards that right ankle, we are in our half bow. If this feels good, let's go into a full bow. Left hand to left ankle. Our heart chakra is completely off the earth. Noticing that we can feel this in our solar plexus, in our tummy area. This is a deep back bend. We also feel this in our lumbar spine, of course. Chin slightly up. We're going to hang out here. Four breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale down, relaxing the body. Swimming the hands forward. We're gonna come back into that sleep pose. Palms are stacked on top of each other. We're gonna relax on our forehead, our third eye chakra. Shoulder blades melt forward. Four breaths of silence. As we slowly awaken our bodies from that sleep position, we're gonna come back to that baby cobra. Palms are next to our chest, our heart chakra. Elbows are slightly bent, we are in our baby cobra. As we flow to our cobra, straightening out those elbows, flowing to our up dog. 
Breathing back, down dog, gazing at our feet. Going back to our high plank, building strength in our arms as we breathe to our side plank. Coming on to our side, we are working our obliques. Arm goes up in the air towards the heavens as we gaze up at that arm. Once again, heart chakras open. We are building strength, gazing up. Two more breaths. Exhale and back, down dog. Flow into that high plank. We're gonna keep on flowing here. We're gonna come onto that side plank. Opposite arm goes up in the air. As we gaze up at that hand, noticing how that heart chakra is open. Body's built in strength here. Two more breaths. Exhale and back, down dog. Drop into our dolphin pose. Coming onto our forearms, buttocks is high in the air. Maybe we can walk our feet closer towards our torso, noticing how our buttocks comes even higher in the air. This dolphin pose prepares the body for headstand. If anyone chooses to flow into the headstand, feel free to freestyle and headstand as we hang out here. Four more breaths. Two more breaths. Drop into our knees, coming into a wide-legged child's pose or puppy pose. Heart chakra comes downward towards the earth as we gaze our eyes down and close our eyes. We're going to take this time to go inward, relax and soothe with three breaths. As we exhale out of that position, coming into, we're gonna um, flow our bodies out of here. So let's just bring our palms in front of us, yes. And we're gonna spinal wave our bodies out of this position here. Maybe we can do a couple of spinal waves here. Just soothing and relaxing the spinal cord. Tummy's nice and tight. And if we choose, maybe we can do a couple of circular rotations at our hips. Noticing how this feels in the lumbar, the lower parts of our spinal cord will be circular rotation this. And we got our tummies nice and tight as we go into circular rotation. And maybe we can add our neck into the mix. Now we are working on our cervical spine here, which is our throat chakra. Having fun and relaxing. Two more breaths. As we find our pause, we are back in our table. As we push our bodies up to our down dog, bringing our hands forward, coming into a complete forward fold, allowing the torso to hover over the thighs, eyes gaze down and close. This is a relaxing pose. Maybe we can flow into a rag dial if that feels good for you. Maybe yogi walk with your feet slightly apart to keep the balance in your rag dial if that feels good for you. Maybe you can sway your body from side to side. Whatever you choose, four more breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale into a half forward fold. Chin is slightly up. Breathing back down to a complete forward fold. Exhale a half. As we flow up to our bouncing pose, we are in our Tadasana. Palms are at our side. And maybe we can pedal our feet, walking our dog, moving our legs from left to right here. Taking a moment to notice how this feels. As we find our pose, we are in our Tadasana. We're gonna breathe our palms above our heads in our standing salute or our extended mountain. In our standing salute, our palms are together. In our extended mountain, our palms are separated. Heart chakras open, chin slightly up. 
Breathe in. Exhale, standing crescent moon, right side. Allowing the body to lean towards the right. Feeling this in spine. Maybe we can gaze up at the heavens, opening up their heart chakra. Two more breaths. Exhale into center. Standing crescent moon, opposite side. Exhale back to center. Coming into our salute. Exhale to prayer. As we hinge at our hips. Taking a moment to notice how this feels in our hamstrings behind our legs. As we bend our knees, coming into a chair pose. We're going to work the lower parts of our bodies. Now. We are in our chair pose. We can be in prayer hands. We can extend our palms in front of us. Whatever chair pose feels good for you. Four breaths. Two more breaths. If our palms are extended in front of us, we're going to bring them to prayer hands. As we chair pose, twist right side. Three more breaths. Exhale back to center. Tear pose, twist opposite side. Exhale back to center. Extending our palms above our heads. Here we are in our chair pose with extended arms. Two breaths. Flow in a prayer. Breathing to a complete forward fold. Allowing our palms to melt downward towards the feet. <sighs> Maybe flowing into a rag doll. And if you choose, you can sway your body from side to side. This here is a counter stretch to what we just did. Three breaths. Two more breaths. As we find our pause at center, we're gonna widen our legs, coming into a wide-legged forward fold. We'll be walking our feet apart, allowing our legs to be nice and wide-legged, feeling it deep behind our legs here in our hamstrings. Yes, and maybe we can sway our bodies from side to side, bringing our torso towards the opposite leg. Yes, noticing how that feels. Maybe allowing your head to melt downward as we sway the body. <sighs> Maybe getting lost in the movements here, kind of swaying the body like you're dancing. <sighs> Allowing the body to feel nice and loose here. So just rocking and feeling with the eyes gazed down or closed, getting lost in this movement here. Three more breaths. Two more breaths. As we find our pause at center, allowing our hands to melt downward towards the earth. Maybe our palms can touch the earth, maybe they cannot. Whatever feels good for you. As we take a nice deep breath in. Exhale. As we bring our hands behind our backs, interlacing our hands together. We are in a wide naked with our hands behind our backs. We are gazing at the back of the room. We are gazing between our legs at the back of the room. And if we choose, we can go deeper in this stretch here. We can allow our hands to come up towards our head. Yes, feeling this nice deep stretch here. We're gonna hang out here and hold this pose for breaths. Two more breaths. Slightly coming up to that half forward fold, allowing our hands to come back to center. Palms are on the earth or facing forward. We are back in our wide-legged forward fold. As we slightly bend our, we're gonna bring our feet outward. We're gonna flow into a goddess stance. So bringing those feet outwards, we're gonna bend those knees. We're gonna come on up. We are in our goddess stance here. Noticing how this works, the lower parts of the body. We can have our palms 
like cactus hands. We can even bring our palms above our heads in this newt that feels good for us. Whatever you choose, guided stance, four breaths. Firming and toning our legs. Two more breaths. Exhale to complete forward fold, relaxing and soothing the body. Maybe taking a nice deep breath in. Exhale. We're gonna come back to our guided stance here, bending our knees, bringing our toes outward. Guided stance, and this time we're gonna cross up and down. Noticing how this feels within the body. We can stay still if that feels good for us. We don't have to pause, this is just an option. Three more breaths. As we find our pause, complete forward fold, relaxing the body. Two more breaths. Coming to the half forward fold. We're gonna flow back to that guided stance here. Bending those knees, feet or outward, guided stance. And this time we're gonna rock the body from side to side, yes. Notice how this feels. Four more breaths. Two more breaths. As we find our pause at center, two breaths. Breathing up to our standing star, straightening our legs. Spinal cords long, heart chakras open, chin slightly up. Palms are off towards the side. Standing star, filling like a star, because we are a star. As we take a nice deep breath in, exhale. Two more breaths. Breathe in. Exhale back down to the goddess pose here. Goddess stance, we're just gonna be in our cactus hands and our goddess stance, standing still, feeling the pose, being one with the pose. We are gods and goddesses here. We are kings and queens, maybe coming into a crown pose. Let's, let's bring, let's come into that crown chop. We're bringing our palms above our heads and prayer hands. Crown pose here. We are kings and queens. We are goddesses. Two more breaths. <sighs> Exhale to standing star because that's what we are. Heart chakras open, chin up. Breathing to our salute, we're gonna bring our legs inward. We are in our standing salute, extended mountain. <sighs> Bringing our palms together. Fingers are interlaced. We're gonna do a slight back bend here. Allowing our arms to flow towards the back. Heart chakra comes forward. We're gonna feel this slight back bend. Allowing the body to lean back. Maybe allowing the head to melt between the shoulder blades if able. Two more breaths. Exhaling out, coming back to the standing. Breathing to our prayer. Hinging at the hips. Bending our knees, coming back into that chair pose. We're gonna stay in our prayer hands though. Taking a moment to notice how the chair feels within a body. Three breaths. <sighs> Breathe in. Exhale, chair pose twist. Two breaths. Low into center, chair twist opposite side. Exhale to center. Breathe complete forward fold. <sighs> Walking our hands forward, coming into that down dog. Pedaling our feet as we walk our dog. As we find our pause, we're gonna breathe that right foot towards that right hand. We are in our runner's lunge. As we flow up to our warrior one or high lunge, whatever feels good for you. <sighs> Two more breaths. Exhale into warrior two. 
feeling the body movements here, feeling the flow. Warrior two. Exhale back, warrior one, high lunge. Going nice and low if you're able. Flowing back to warrior two. Twisting forward, framing that front foot. We are back in our runner's lunge just for a second. As we come into a pyramid, straightening out that front leg, this is a counter stretch. Allowing a heart chakra to melt downward towards that thigh. Maybe taking a nice deep breath. Exhale. Eyes and gaze down to close. Three breaths. Two more breaths. Coming back to um, runner's lunge, bending that front leg. Exhale, down dog. Pushing our torso towards our thighs, feeling that nice deep stretch. As we bring our left foot towards our left hand, runner's lunge, opposite side. As we flow up to that warrior one, high lunge. Feeling the movements here. Working the lower parts of our bodies. Exhale into warrior two. Two more breaths. Breathe back, warrior one. Feeling the flow, feeling the movement. Exhale back, warrior two. Twisting the body forward, coming to that runner's lunge. Just for a second, we're gonna flow to that pyramid, straightening out that front leg, taking a nice deep breath in, exhaling that torso downward towards that thigh, closing the eyes. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Lower to run this lunge by bending that front leg. Breathe in. Exhale. Down dog. Mm. Walking our dog. As we come back into a three-legged dog, right side. Bringing that right leg in the air, feeling that stretch, gazing back at that foot. Mm. We're going to bring that foot forward, coming into a pigeon pose. Bringing that right foot forward. Yes. Left leg is to the back of the room. Nice and long. We're in our pigeon pose. <sighs> and we can flow down to a sleeping pigeon if we need a moment's rest. Or we can use our palms to push our torsos away from our thighs. Whatever feels good for you. We're going to hang out here in our up pigeon or our sleeping pigeon. Your choice. Four natural breaths. If we're in our up pigeon, maybe we can allow our head to melt backwards between our shoulder blades, still in that nice deep back bend. Two more breaths. If we're in our sleeping pigeon, we're gonna slowly push our bodies up, come into our pigeon as we slightly gaze over that right shoulder, feeling that spinal twist. Exhale back to center. As we gaze over that left shoulder, maybe allowing our left hand to touch our left leg. Feeling that deep stretch. And if we choose, we can flow into a king pigeon or into a mermaid. Think bringing that foot to hand connection or bringing that foot inside the elbow and our mermaid which means our leg comes slightly off to the side. Whatever you choose, king, pigeon, mermaid, you can also use a strap. Bring the strap into the mix if you choose. Hooking that strap underneath your foot. Chin comes slightly up, opening up that heart chakra. Three more breaths. Two more breaths. <sighs> As we exhale out, lowering that leg. 
twisting our bodies back forward, gazing over that right shoulder one more time. Exhaling back to center as we push our bodies up to down dog. We're gonna keep on flowing three-legged dog opposite side. Breathing that left foot and foot in front of us, coming into the pigeon opposite side, left foot forward, right foot is straight out behind us. Yes. We can flow down to that sleeping pigeon if our body needs to rest. We can then we can be in our awakened pigeon, pushing our torsos up away from the floor. <sighs> Notice so which one feels best for your body in this moment. We're gonna hang out here. A couple breaths. Three more breaths. Two more breaths. As we slightly gaze over that left shoulder, feeling that spinal twist. Exhaling back to center, gazing over that right shoulder, maybe allowing the right hand to touch the right leg. Three breaths. And if we choose, we can flow into a mermaid or a king pigeon, bringing hand or foot or cuffing our feet inside of our elbows, or even using the strap, whatever feels good for you. Heart chakras open, chin slightly up, relaxing the body. Three more breaths. As we slowly lower that leg, twisting our bodies forward, we're gonna slightly gaze over that left shoulder. Exhale back to center, pushing our bodies up to down dog. Flow into our high plank. Tummy's nice and tight. As we breathe to up dog, thighs are off the earth, heart chakras open, chin up. Exhale down to cobra, we are on our thighs. Breathing down to our baby cobra, we're gonna bend our elbows, bodies come closer towards the earth. We're gonna flow down to our sphinx pose. Relaxing our bodies, shoulders are melted away from the ears. Chin is slightly up. Maybe we can gaze our eyes down. Taking a moment to go inward. Three breaths. Two more breaths. Pushing our bodies up, we're gonna come into a table. So pushing our bodies up to a cobra, coming to our hands and knees. We're gonna cross our feet at our ankles. We're gonna come into a seated pose just for a second, because we're gonna flow onto our backs, bringing our knees into our chest. Knees to chest pose. Mm. Hugging our knees into our chest. Gazing our eyes down or closing our eyes. Allowing our shoulder blades to melt into the yoga mat. Two more breaths. As we lift our legs straight up in the air, legs on the wall pose. We're gonna reach down to the lower parts of our legs. We're gonna bring our legs towards our torso, filling this full body stretch. Exhale, our legs back on the wall, bringing our knees back into our torso. As we allow our knees to fall towards the left, we climb, spinal twist, knees fall to the left, right arm comes out to the side like a T. As we gaze over that right arm, or gaze up at the heavens, with our eyes closed to gaze down, allowing our spinal cord to melt backwards to the yoga mat, allowing the body to completely Relax here. Four breaths. Mm. 
two more breaths. Exhaling back to center, knees to chest, hugging them in. Now when our knees to fall towards the right, recline, spinal twist, opposite side, knees to right, left arm goes out to the side like a T. As we softly gaze over that left shoulder or gaze up at the heavens, with our eyes gaze down the closed, spinal cord melts back into the mat. Four breaths. more breaths. Hmm. Exhaling our bodies back to center, knees to chest, hugging our knees into our chest. As we extend our legs up in the air, we're going to reach down, connecting our legs to our, our hands to our legs. We're going to bring our legs towards our torso, full body stretch. Exhale back, legs on the wall. As we bring our knees into our torso, coming into a happy baby. Feet comes up in the air. Palms, hands comes between the thighs. Coming outward and connecting to the feet. We are in our happy baby. As we are gazing up at the heavens, or we can close our eyes. Bodies are melted. We are one with the earth. The earth is relaxed in our spinal cords as we rock our bodies from side to side, noticing how this feels on the spine. Taking a moment to relax and soothe the spine. Feeling the movements within our spinal cord. For we work our entire chakra from the roots up to our crown. And we're going to allow the energies to flow through our spinal cord. No blockage here. Energies are flowing freely. We are releasing anything that needs to be blocked. Allow the energy to flow. Let it go. Let it be. What was, was. So what is can be. Rocking the body, releasing any chakras that is stuck, lowering the energies from our spinal cord, from the root through the head, the crown chakra, releasing it to the universe. Out with the old, so we can come in with the new. As we find our pause in our happy baby, hands connected to the feet. Gazing up at the heavens with our eyes open or eyes closed as we go inward, as we focus, as we relax. Six breaths of silent meditation. Three more breaths. Breathe in. As we breathe our legs up in the air, legs on the wall poles. We're gonna point to, we're gonna dorsi plant to flex our feet, pointing our feet up towards the heavens. Plant your nose feet as we bring them towards our heads. So the feet is gonna come downward towards our heads, feeling the ankles move here. Then we're gonna 
flex our toes upwards towards the heavens. Yes. Our feet is channeling out anything that no longer serves us. Our feet can also be considered a root chakra because our feet is always on the earth, walking, taking, planting, root chakra feet. Toes are pointed towards the heavens, release it, letting go, getting rid of, let it go, let it go, let it go. Out, 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 release, feeling it go, whatever it may be. Legs on the wall pose, two more breaths. Maybe bringing our palms at heart center, bringing our palms together at heart center. Yes. Feeling it, eyes closed, gaze down. We're gonna do a bonus, three more breaths. Two more breaths. Final breath. As we release, let it go. Bring your hands up towards the heavens, towards the feet and release it, let it go. Let it go. As we breathe our knees into our chest, hugging them in, thanking ourselves, gratitude, happy for ourselves. Two breaths. As our feet falls to the earth, knees are up in the air, palms are planted down with on the earth next to our buttocks. We're gonna bridge our bodies here, bridging our bodies, making way for more for me. Bridging the body. Buttocks comes up away from the earth, yes. We're gonna come into a high bridge, walking our hands towards our spinal cord, bringing our hands towards our buttocks, and we're gonna walk our shoulder blades towards our spinal cord, shall I say. Hips come up, heart chakra is open. Whew. As we are gonna do, we're gonna cross it up here. We're gonna bring our buttocks nice and high, and we're gonna slightly bring it down. We're gonna come back up nice and high. And we're gonna cross our bodies, Feeling that burn. Four breaths. Two more breaths. Finding our pulse. We're going to bring that gluteus maximus up nice and high. Feeling that nice deep crunch here. Going nice and hard, nice and tight. Four breaths. Two breaths. Hold it here, three pulses, cross it up, cross it up, fill in a burn, two more breaths. Find and pause, hold it up, pulse it, or hold it up, whatever you choose, two breaths. Exhale down, releasing the body, hugging the knees into the chest. Breathe in, exhale, crossing the feet at the ankles, coming up into a boat pose. We're gonna work our abs just for a second. Bolt pose, we can bring our legs parallel. We can come into that full bolt. We can keep our feet crossed at our ankles. Whatever you choose, bolt pose. Gazing forward, tummies, abs are nice and tight. Five breaths. Three more breaths. As we bring our hands inward, we're gonna cross that body, left to right, left and right. We are working our obliques. Noticing how this feels in the body. Moving and flowing, spinal cord is nice and long, back is straight. If we bend our back, we might fall over. So always keeping that back straight. Three more breaths. We're gonna find our pause. We're gonna bring our hands and our feet together. Yes. Noticing how this feels. Keeping our backs nice and straight. We don't wanna have any arch in our back. See that there? Keep it nice and straight. Keeps us up as we extend that leg towards the left. We're in our boat pose variation. Feeling this behind our hamstrings. As we extend that right leg, we are in our boat pose variation. People also call this bear pose. Body's nice and straight. Spinal cord is elongated. Tummy's nice and tight. But we have control of our bodies here as we gaze forward. If we choose, we can widen our legs. Notice how that feels. Or we can bring our legs inward. 
Notice how that feels. Playing around with the two, whatever you choose, with three breaths. Two more breaths. Final breath. Exhale and I feet inward into a diamond or a butterfly. And now diamond, our feet are further. Now butterfly, our feet are closer. This is a hip opener as we slightly hinge at the hips. Gazing our eyes down. Exhaling back up. We're going to do a couple of seated cat cows. Heart chakra comes up. Now when that head to relax between the shoulder blades. Exhale into our cat. Chin comes towards the clavicle. Flowing back to our diamond or our butterfly. As we flow our legs into a cow face. Bringing one leg underneath, bringing the other leg over top. Yes. We are in our cow face. Tummy's nice and tight. Spine cord is nice and long. Shoulders are melted downward away from the ears. Our eyes are closed or gaze down. Our chin is relaxed. Our facial muscles are relaxed. Our forehead is relaxed. As we breathe our palms at heart center, we are in our seated prayer. As we breathe in deeply, exhale fully. Noticing how the breath feels within the body. As we take this time to thank ourselves for allowing ourselves to practice self-care here today. For in a busy, busy world, it is a beautiful thing when we make time for self. And I just would like to thank you for allowing me to guide you and practice with you and be here with you today. The light in me, please appreciate and respect the light in you. Namaste. Namaste.